Hi friends, beginning of October, stuff is starting to yellow and die. Um, it's 80 degrees this week, next week it's supposed to drop into the 50s, which means most everything is going to start dying off now. And you know what a struggle it's been for me to get back there for those frickin' tomatoes, so this is what I'm doing today, is I'm coming back here. This is the, uh, section wood at fertilizer with wood ash, lots of red tomatoes in here. I'm going to cut them at the base, and then I'm going to pull them out onto the lawn, and then I will pick any that are edible. I don't think I should... Well, this is potential food, though, isn't it? If I left it up there, would it turn red? Do I count that? Do I not count that? Would it matter? I don't know. So I'm going to get to cutting and pulling, um, but I wanted just to show you guys what was up before I started doing that. This tomatillo is just falling. <laughs> it's so big. It grew up, it grew over, and it is falling all over the ground. This is uh, urine with wood ash, but luckily it's allowed my pepperoncini hot pepper or mild, it's actually a very, it's a mild sweet pepper. It's really good for, well, it's a pepperoncini, you know. You put these on your pizza. But it's a real Italian pepperoncini, that's why it looks different. Um, here's the urine. Still, I mean, it's growing to the ground. It looks great. Tomatoes on this side, you know, they're above the fence line on this side. Not so much that is the miracle Grow and control side. So, I, I mean, this is clearly the winner uh, for growth at least. But again, production is what we're after. Okay, so uh, here is here is the urine only, everyday urine. And since I was gone for camping, and between that time and this time, I stopped putting the urine on it every day, right? Because it wasn't blooming at all, and guess what happened? So my conclusion from this very unscientific one plant, well, actually it was a two plant study, one died early on, is that if you put nitri heavy nitrogen on a plant every single day, it will not bloom, and most of us know that. I could find so you're gonna see a pile of vines and then a container and then which section it was from so the biggest pile is of course the urine with wood ash I haven't weighed this yet but what I'm gonna do is go through get rid of the green ones take off the stems and then um, I'll weigh that up and here is the urine. These bowls are just about the same size uh, in circumference themselves, and they look pretty close to me in weight. Vine production, I think, is about the same, too. These vines were fatter. Um, those were taller and growing everywhere. Actually, I see some more tomatoes right here that I missed. Maybe a little bit counts. Okay, miracle Grow. Slightly smaller bowl than the other two. Definitely less vineage. Um, but, you know, uh, worthy worthy production, right? The poor little control. Just water. Poor little baby. And, of course, the urine. Stop watering after blooms. No tomatoes. Again, it's a different kind of tomato. It's not a cherry tomato. It's an Amish uh, paste and I have nada. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh these and add them to the list and then I'm going to go after some tomatillos. I'm not pulling these out though because they're still producing. They are still flowering. And can you see? Woo. I don't know if you saw that but I still have bees. Bees coming around and doing their bee thing. So anyway, um, catch you later. Oh, this is my early... October update. Hi you guys, 
So tell me, does the big garden look different? It's getting all cleaned up. I'm trying the experiment again with the tomatoes, just leaving them in place. And I'm sure they will grow back. So I've got a row of um, Amish paste and then cherry tomatoes in there, although it looks like there's a little mix up right here. These are still hot peppers that are growing and then way off in the corner I still have some acorn squash that are ripening. Um, but we're here today to finish off the experiments here. Um, I Because it's time to pull everything, it's going to start freezing here any day now and we want to get the um, uh, wood chips on the top of the garden before it starts raining again so I'm going to pick all the tomatillos and I'll put them in buckets again depending on which um, section they fall under urine with wood ash urine miracle grow control and so forth and leave them there and you may recall um, if you haven't been with me for a long time my soil is very very clay and what that means is that um, we tried using a tractor we rototilled we did all that stuff but what we found is that we couldn't get into the dirt but look at this now look at that. this is five years now of bringing in oh, potato bringing in wood chips we have another wood chip delivery, wood chips, and letting them decompose. So, um, oh god, they smell so good. We're going to bring those in, cover everything in several inches of wood chips from that building to the fence over there where those buckets are and all through here. And then we will uh, plant again so it'll look like this next year. Oops. And we will plant directly into that like these peppers are planted. So you just move the chips aside and plant directly into the soil. And then you get, I don't know, do they call it soil when it's really just decomposed wood material? You get this. And it has lots of organic material in it and it's just wonderful. So happy about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and cutting those down and putting those into containers and then we'll weigh them. And yeah, we'll see who's the big winner of the production, production this year in the urine as fertilizer. Grow off. All right, so then look again, the height's pretty good down here. Uh, less good here. This is miracle Girl. This is the control and actually it might be doing better than the miracle Girl. but you can see these are obviously ready to be picked. They're falling off. Uh, but some of what's on this is this, um, this section here and this is what we did. We uh, used the yeah, urine and wood ash until blossom started and then we stopped watering in with wood, uh, with that urine and wood ash and we just stuck to uh, plain water. So some of this plant belongs on this side but it's growing over to that side so it really belongs here but I'll trace them back. Anyway, um, I'm going to get started and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, you guys, so now we're just down to the end here. Got the big garden all cleared up, but pulled the peppers. My signs are now gone, so I'll just read this to you. Um, actually, let's start down at the end. We've got a surprise winner on the pepper front. So these two little peppers came from this plant, and this is, we started with urine and wood ash, and then when the plants the whole section here started blooming. We cut out urine and wood ash and just uh, watered with water and we get two peppers. Here's the control, which was just water. Uh, 
And these are all the peppers. Miracle Grow, baby. I have a theory about this. My theory is that the tomatillos that grew around here, they shared this cage with the pepper. And um, the tomatillos didn't get nearly as big as the other tomatillos did, so they didn't shade out the pepper plant as much. But uh, we said we'd roll with the results, and the results speak for themselves. They're in various stages of aging. This is an Italian pepperoncini. So this is uh, like a sweet pepper here. Um, then when it's orange, it gets a little spicier, and then when it gets red, in full red, it gets pretty spicy. Um, the other thing I should note is that in previous years, the Miracle Grow has come on strong, stayed, stayed strong, and then petered out near the end of the year. So it tends to uh, bloom and put out fruit quicker, and then it falls off. But, you know, it's been a strange growing year. Um, so maybe it's that as well. Um, I'm going to look up peppers and see maybe they need some more um, potassium and um, well, nitrogen is in the urine, potassium fo and phosphorus, I don't know. We'll check it out. Here is the urine. And again, these tomatillos that were behind there were huge, so maybe they shaded that out. I don't know for sure. But uh, And here is the urine with wood ash. And again, I'll point out, I got one I just found on here, that most of these are not ripe. Um, I wouldn't normally pick them at this stage, but it's mid-October and the whole garden's going to bed. So it's time for me to pull these plants and put them away. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh everything up. And um, then I'll do a final reveal on um, the onion amount, the tomatillo amount, the tomato amount, and the pepper amount. But I can tell you right now, the, pep the clear winner on the peppers is a miracle grow. But I think the clear winner on the other stuff is the um, urine and urine with wood ash. But... Let me go weigh these on my portable weight machine, and then I'll do a tally, and, and we'll come back and take a look at that. Hi, you guys. So here are my end numbers for the weigh-in. I may have made a mistake somewhere because one or two of these has really got me stumped, so it's entirely possible that in my, my big lists of numbers that I made that I inverted some or something. I, I just don't understand it. Maybe you can kind of help me problem solve that. So the first um, thing that I noticed is the tomatillos, and this is where I think um, one of my numbers, I, I must have screwed it up somewhere. Because if when I add up all the numbers and I do all the math, um, the number one producer is urine with wood ash. That's no su surprise. The second one was um, the commercial miracle Grow, and I'm like, oh, okay, I could see that being number two. The number three was the Control, which had no um, fertilizer at all. Number four was the uh, section where we started out with the wood ash and urine, and then we stopped when it started blooming. And then I had the fifth producer as the urine and I from my memory and from the pictures that just does not hold um, but that's what I wrote down and that's what I wanted to present to you I don't think this is right that's why I've got this question mark here I I just don't remember it being like that um, but you know when you have one person doing the job all by themselves mistakes can get made pretty easily so um, my results, as I wrote them, show that the uh, urine with wood ash produced 12 pounds, 7 ounces over the course of the season. miracle Grow produced 11 pounds, um, 0.43 ounces. Uh, three Control produced, well, 8 uh, pounds, 13 ounces. The Stopped produced 5.5 pounds. And then the urine by itself only um, just shy of... Well, it's four and a half pounds, basically. I I don't buy that. I don't I don't believe that's true. But no matter what, urine with wood ash wins. 
here it looks like the commercial came in a second. What I need to do is some more research into here and figure out how much potassium and phosphorus do um, tomatillos take. If they take a lot of it, then I can see why the miracle Grow would have beaten it because it, urine by itself um, is mostly nitrogen. But the control that had absolutely no fertilizer in it, I can't see how that could have beat the urine. So I'm going to guess I screwed up somewhere, but, you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> All right, so the tomatoes. Over the course of the season, urine with wood ash was number one at 9.53 ounces. Number two producer was the tomato of to tomatoes was the urine at 7.5 ounces. Uh, number three was the miracle Grow at just shy of five pounds. So five, six, so two and a quarter pounds difference between those two. The control was fourth at one pound, 4.6 ounces, and where we stopped uh, using anything but water after the urine and wood ash was fifth. Peppers, this was also a surprise, but I think I have an explanation for this. Number one was miracle Grow, and I think that's true because with the urine and the urine with wood ash, the plants got so big that they shaded out their pepper plants. Um, and so this one, because it had a smaller tomatillo growth, again, that's why, you know, I keep questioning that, uh, there, this pepper plant got the most sun next to the control. Um, but again, the control got no fertilizer at all. So number one was uh, miracle Grow. Number two was urine with wood ash. Uh, urine was number three. Number four was the control, and uh, number five was where we stopped. It actually got a one ounce by itself. The onions were a funny thing. They kind of disappeared on me, and now I have discovered they are coming back. So I thought uh, they died, but in fact they went dormant, probably because of the uh, sudden temperature. So number one um, in production when I pulled them out was uh, miracle Grow, and I think, again, that's because of potassium and phosphorus was needed there. Number two was the urine with wood ash, which has potassium and phosphorus in it. Uh, the third was the control at uh, 5.9 ounces. And number four was urine at 0.9. Again, no potassium or phosphorus in that. So um, the two surprises, again, were was a tomatillo production. I'm 90% sure that this is wrong. Um, the plants were bigger, the plants were stronger, and I just remember every time looking at that, thinking, even upon harvest, that those numbers were looking very good, so I think I screwed that up. Um, but, you know, I, this is the numbers the way I run them down. And then the peppers, and I think that's, again, because of the sun, because these two plants were shading out their peppers, um, and this one had the sun come through. But... I told you I would show you the results as I wrote them. These are the results as I wrote them. So um, let me know if you have any questions. And next year I'm going to change stuff up considerably because this season was kind of a, a cluster F. Um, and I'll think about that over the winter. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and throw them my way. Um, but otherwise, these are the results and they are what they are. Thanks for watching.